Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about does the no contact rule work on a stubborn ex? Okay, so the first thing that I want to discuss is the problem with that question itself, okay? Does the no contact rule work on a stubborn ex? Okay, and the reason why the question itself is a bit problematic is because you're still in that feeling of lack, right? That you're trying to get the no contact rule to work, right? So the thing is with the no contact rule and the way that I personally coach it and teach it is the no contact rule is forever in your eyes, okay? It should always be forever, okay? Um, So that means you're not gonna contact your ex at all. And you also have to assume as well that you're never gonna hear from them again. You have to assume that because you don't know. You may not hear from them again. And then it can be just a nice pleasant surprise if they do contact you eventually, right? So you gotta assume that they're not coming back because what this does, if you assume that they're not coming back, then it's a lot more easier for you to start moving on and progressing with your life instead of you know looking at your phone every morning and before you go to sleep to see if they've reached out to you event you know now you could be that you've got a calendar that you're crossing off the days as many you know all the all the days that go by that you're in no contact you know this just keeps you stuck right so if you start to assume that the no contact rule is going to be forever and that you assuming that um, your ex is not coming back and you're not going to hear from them again you feel a lot more free because then you are then free to move on you let it out of the window you can start doing the no contact rule properly because if you are still thinking about um, oh I wonder when they're going to reach out to me um, I wonder how many days it's going to take you know you may be looking up videos on how many days it takes for your ex to come back when it comes to the no contact rule you know how many days before they contact you things like that it keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck in that place and it prevents you from moving on. You know, each day you are thinking about the no contact rule. Each day you are, you know, um, watching tons and tons of videos on the no contact rule. Um, it's keeping you stuck, right? It's, it's keeping you at square one and it's not helping you move on. You know, the, the one of the things that you can do if you want to start moving on is start looking at content that is about dating advice. Start looking at content that is about progressing your goals and your career, you know, because that can help you progress and move forward and perhaps can give you some information on how to do that, right? But if you are constantly thinking about the no contact rule and your ex, then you're staying on square one and you're not moving on. Now, it's true that some days are better than others. Some days, you know, you feel like you really miss your ex and other days you probably feel better. And it is going to take time for you to move on from your ex, it is going to take time Um, and you should allow yourself time to do it as well just because it seems like on social media everyone can you know get over an ex real fast isn't reality right even if it seems like your ex has moved on real fast it isn't the reality right it takes a while to move on from relationships okay it really does okay and social media is just a highlight reel okay so don't take anything that you see about relationships or the relationships that your friends are in or your ex is in or anyone else is in seriously and how they personally handle breakups because you're looking at what they do on social media and and how they handle it right so you know because again social media is just a highlight reel you only get to see the good things They, they only post what you want to see right okay so you don't see the sad days, you don't see the nights where they're up crying, you don't see that kind of thing, you don't see the upset, you don't see the arguments, okay? So when it comes to the stubborn ex then, right, is the thing is everyone is different, you know, it could be that the no contact rule works on a stubborn ex, or it could be the no contact rule doesn't work on a stubborn ex, because it depends on the ex, depends on the person we're talking about right, and everyone's individual, everyone's unique, you know, it depends on the stubbornness in a way, right, um, depends on how stubborn they are, you know, <laughs> right, and you can't predict what they're going to do, you can't predict someone's behaviour like it, like they're a textbook, because people are different, people are unique, people are individual, and we will have our own different idiosyncrasies, okay, but if your ex is really truly stubborn, and perhaps they even said something to you like, you know, you're never going to hear from me again after this, they, that may be true, 
right? You may not hear from them. But then again, you may not hear from an ex that wasn't stubborn either, right? Because it all depends on how they feel about you as well. It depends on how much they still love you and care about you. Because if they don't love you, if they don't care about you anymore, you'll never hear from them. But if they do love you and care about you, you may hear from them. They probably will reach out to you, even if it's something simple like, hey, how are you? How you been? What you been up to? Right? They're not going to flat out say to you, and it's very rare that an ex will actually flat out say to you that does miss you, that they miss you. Right? It's very rare that they're actually going to say, I want to come back, I really miss you. It's more likely that when you hear from your ex, if they do break the no contact, if they're the one that breaks no contact, they're going to say something that isn't really that important. Like, hey, how are you? How, what you been up to? Right? However, if they say something like, when can I pick up my stuff? Or something about finalizing the relationship, then that's not a good sign. It has to be something about you. It has to be, um, it can't be like in a business-like manner, right? It has to be a little more of an emotional ma manner where they're kind of inquiring about you, inquiring about your day, what you've been up to. They may even ask if you you know, want to have a catch up one day or something like that, right? But if it's more business-like and it's about picking up stuff or something to do with the kids, you know, that's more of a, that's not an indication that they want you back. It's more of a, um, I, I, need, I need to talk to you about this because it's important and it's more of like a business thing rather than an emotional thing. So that's something else as well. You know, you don't want to, if you do have a stubborn ex, you know, you got to realise that, you know, it doesn't, it really depends on them as a person and as an individual, right? There's no way that you can really predict when they're going to reach out to you or if they're not going to reach out to you. Because I think a lot of people think, oh, if I've got a stubborn ex, then um, they're, they're not going to reach out to me, even if they do have feelings for me. But the thing is, is that you just still don't know that for sure, right? No one really knows that for sure. And don't believe anyone that does feel like they know that for sure. Because if they're, if you've got a stubborn ex, you know, um, you know, you don't know, for sure. They, they, they could reach out to you, basically, they could, you know, you don't know, you, you've got to remember that everyone is a human being, basically, okay, but the point is, though, is that you've got to assume that they're not, you've got to assume that they're not coming back, you've got to start moving on with your life, you can't stay stuck in this place, okay, it's not good for you, it's not good for your mental health, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help you in any way, right, moving on and progressing with your life is going to help you, make you feel better, you know, going back and learning what you did that you could have done better, learning about how to communicate in relationships, you know, figuring out how to have a healthy relationship is going to help you, figuring out better dating techniques is going to help you find someone new and help you, you know, uh, get into that new relationship, and of course, you know, learning stuff on how to have a healthier relationship and how to communicate in a relationship is going to make you have a healthier relationship when you do get into a new relationship, or if the ex comes back, okay? So you got to focus your attention then on not on the no contact rule, not on stubborn exes or anything like that and trying to predict when your ex is going to reach out. You want to focus on moving on, you know, uh, working towards your goals, becoming proud of yourself, healing from the relationship and becoming more at peace with your life. You know, doing things in such a way that you feel more relaxed in your life, that you feel more at peace in your life, right? And one of the best ways that you can do that is every day, just try your best in whatever it is that you're doing. You know, when you go to work, try your best. When you come home and you've got maybe some time on your hands, figure out, you know, you know, learn a new skill or, you know, do something that you've always wanted to do or create um, a project that you've always wanted to do or start a business that you've always wanted to start. You know, do things that are going to make you feel really pr proud and happy with yourself, okay? Um, and that's really, really going to help you you know and if you're having trouble with um your emotions if you're having trouble um with get, getting over this ex then i recommend that you get a therapist start talking to a therapist about it you know or talk to someone that you really that you're really close to or start journaling about it right as well you know start getting your feelings out onto paper you know or um if you don't want it pay on, on paper because you're worried someone's going to read it then write down things on a memo on your phone and then delete it or write it on your pc on a word document or something and then delete it or something like that or you do write it down on a piece of paper and then you just flush it down the toilet or burn it right do something do something where you're actually you know diving in deep to basically what happened figuring out um what you could have done better what you could do to improve on and then start improving on those things as well okay so that's what's going to benefit you 
So try to take the 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 trying to guess what your stubborn ex is going to do. If your ex is stubborn, when they're going to take all that out of the window, start healing from it, okay? And start feeling proud of yourself. Right? Start doing things that will make you feel proud and good about yourself, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.